guys welcome back to no catch name it's me ella today i wanted to share with with you guys some heavy mail that i've gotten and uh i will be actually coming on again in a couple of days to show another happy mail it's just it's at the post office box but i haven't been able to get it because our post office closes early on saturdays and then on sundays they're closed so i just haven't had a chance to get it so i'll get it when i get it i guess <laughs> but i just wanted to hop on here and share with you guys what i did get we got a new table in here. Well, it's, it's new to us. My mom gave it to us. <laughs> um, and hopefully in the background, it's going to look a little different in a week or two or three or so, something like that. Because uh, I found a yarn, well, not a yarn shelf, but like a cube storage that I'm going to use as a yarn shelf. I'm going to try to put it in this big blank space right here <laughs> um, to organize all my yarn. Because right now, the yarn that I have left, I'm actually down on my supply, uh, is scattered in four different little bookshelves no five little book bookshelves three in the living room two in the bedroom and the two in the bedroom are real wobbly and need to be replaced um so i want to get like a cube storage and put it all here is my plan um we'll see if that works so but yeah anyways uh so i did get a valentine's day card from valerie oh i just remembered i have another one but i left it in the truck i'll have to show that when i show the other one it's in my glove box but this is valerie from valerie's cuddly cat crochet and I think she changed the name of her channel. I don't know if she's actually officially done it yet or not. But anyways, she sent me her Valentine's Day card and her Christmas card. Because she just bit, was busy. So here's the Valentine's Day card. So pretty. It's like um, cupcakes and foily. I guess. And then she um, wrote a nice little note in here. And then this is her Christmas card. This is kind of what I want to do this next year. Um, I wanted to make something like this that's like a postcard kind of but i actually want to make an actual postcard to where i mail this through the mail like with a stamp and everything uh i just have to work on that but i wanted to put some stuff related to crochet and stuff on there and then you know the, the message right there and then have a spot where i could personalize messages on back to people um but i just thought this is cute it's got her cats on there and it says merry christmas with love valerie maggie molly and walter walter's her half cat i'm pretty sure is what she calls him because uh, it's really the neighbor's cat. Oh, here's the other one. And, um, but he, he comes and goes between both of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's her card. Uh, the next happy mail that I got was from, I think it's Utah. Um, she sent us some dishcloths that she made as just a gift. Um, I mentioned recently in a video that I was wanting to trade some knitted, someone to make me knitted dishcloths and face thingies in trade for like a bag. And I had a lot of people reach out, and I've actually, I've been communicating with two people about doing it. Um, but then she sent it just as a gift to us. So this is the card that she sent. It's a really pretty floral card. I like it a lot. And this is the envelope the card was in. It's got a pretty sticker on it. And then she sent the ball band for what yarn she used. And then the two cloths. So she made two of them. I love this is why I love the knitted ones because they're so smushy and they're really good about getting like into cups and things. So I like that a lot. But the yarn that she used is the Crafter Secret Cotton. I've had some of the same exact yarn before. <laughs> um, actually, I made myself some dishcloths out of this before. And the colorway is called it's 172 Sprinkles 2. It's like a rainbow colorway. This is from Hobby Lobby. So at least that's where I bought it. I'm pretty sure that's the only store it carries Crafter Secret. But now I got these two. I haven't uh, used them yet because I went to show them to you guys. But so um, thank you so much for that. And we love them. I love the rainbows. I have you a thank you card. It's on my desk. <laughs> I haven't mailed it yet because I don't have a stamp. I have to I keep forgetting to get a stamp when I go to the post office. So I need to get another book. But during Christmas, I used up all my stamps that I kept on hand. And um, so I got to get some more stamps. But anyways, it's in there. It's filled out. I just got to mail it off. <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to wash those now and get them underneath my sink into my bucket because a lot of i have a lot of those dishcloths were gifted to me in happy meals over the years and a lot of them have just been falling apart you know over years of use one i have now has a hole in the middle of it it's a purple one that someone sent me it has like a hole right here and <laughs> it's slowly unraveling but i'm still using it uh until it falls apart i will still use it and me and devin both prefer this kind of over like regular uh you know the store-bought cotton um dishcloths i do have two of those that are horribly stained with like bleach spots because that's what I use to wipe down my counters with. Like with my cleaning spray. And then I wipe them down. But these are like strictly for um, dishes. And then I also want some face scrubbies for my face. <laughs> but uh, I've got two people already 
working on that. One already sent it. That's what the other package is, actually. So I got to make her her bag this week and send it off to her. And then the other person, whenever they contact me. All right, the last Happy Mom got is just something I ordered. It's my bag labels. I always like to show them to you guys. And then if you're interested in this type of labels, you can go check them out. I've been ordering from the same website for years. Like at least three years, maybe more. I tried a few different ones in the beginning when I was first starting to make project bags. But this is the one that I just really liked, you know, and stuck with. But she has an Etsy shop and an actual website now. And it's called Ever Emblem. So I'll link the Etsy shop and her regular Etsy shop down below. I mean, her regular website down below. But I always, almost always buy two sheets at a time. <laughs> of, uh, and they each have 40 on it. And my tags are the kind. I, I get them to where I cut them out myself because it's a little bit cheaper that way. If you don't want to do that yourself, you can, she'll cut them. But it's a few dollars more. It's like five or six dollars more. Uh, so you just follow the lines. I use like my rotary cutter and cut them all up. And they're the kind of labels that you fold, like, on my bags. But I get two sheets of them. She has the sew-on labels, and she has iron-on labels. You can get all different sizes. Mine is, I think, one inch by two inch. That I, I It's just the size that I prefer. But she has some that's just little flat ones. You know, I can get bigger ones. It's all kinds. I would suggest checking her out. She has always been perfect for me. I've never had any issues at all with her. And this is the little thing, like the cardboard piece that she mails with them to keep them from getting all bent up. Although my stupid post office does this and sticks it in the PO box, but it doesn't really matter for something like this. Uh, but it's got the instructions on how to sew them and iron them on and how to cut them out if you didn't do that yourself. And plus, um, this comes in a bag, which I always keeps a bag to reuse for other things. And then she almost always, uh, every time that I've noticed, I hope I never threw any away, she includes a little sticker. Usually I get the yarn ball ones and I have a bunch of them. And then this last time she included this little uh, sew machine. It's like a vintage sew machine and it's got Ever Emblem down there. And uh, so that's really cute. I like getting the little bonus, you know, it's just fun. But, and then she also, there's a business card too. I don't know what I did with the business card. I probably lost it. But on the business card, there's a coupon code where you can save a little bit on your next purchase. Um... So I always do that. <laughs> I always cycle. I always buy the same amount of labels every time. And because I purchase all the time, you know, they got it on on their files or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, so I don't really have to tell her anything. I always, when I order it, I just put in the little description boxy message thingy <laughs> to, uh, I always just say the same as usual, please, or something like that. And then she always, um, before the order, you know, like I pay. And then before she works on the order, she sends me the, um, the proof so you can you know know that that's what your label is going to look like and agree to it and then she'll make them and mill them out and almost always even during covid like the height of covid you know 2020 when everything was crazy um i got them with like within a week usually she's from michigan she's in michigan um and i've never had any issues from her i highly suggest her as a label person <laughs> once i mentioned her and a lot of y'all went and i guess and ordered from her and she ended up sending me a bunch of uh, free labels she sent me like i don't even know like a hundred maybe of different size labels so that was really cool but uh she's just really i've never had any issue out of her or her team i don't know if she has more people <laughs> who work for her but um she's just really cool and i like I love her products. I just, I will always buy from her until she quits selling them probably. But, and I love the little bonus stickers because they're so cute. Speaking of stickers, my sister is working away on stickers, crochet related stickers, and they're so cute. She's going to open her own Etsy shop soon. She's working on all this stuff, you know, she's new to it. So she's learning, but uh, she's going to have a lot of cute stickers coming out. They're already like, she's made a ton of them already and I love them all. And I hope you guys do too. And then um, in the future, she's hoping to do the safety eyes. Uh, these are the ones, or not safety eyes, the amigurumi eyes. They're not safety eyes. These ones that I mentioned before, and I have two pairs left of the first ones she made for me. Um, I've used some of them, but uh, she's having a little bit of difficulty with just um, the details on stuff like this. She's her Cricut, I don't know anything about Cricuts, <laughs> but um, she's having to get a different blade, I think is what she said, uh, and she's having to work. She's having to figure something out because uh, when she makes these eyes a lot smaller, the little eyelashes don't cut right. So she's having to figure all that out. But she is going to make safety, or not safety eyes, why do I keep saying that? Felt eyes, they're felt eyes, in the future. And these are the original ones she made, and I've already used some. And then she made some just, like, messing around. And uh, I took them. <laughs> she gave them to me. So here's some round ones with heart gleams. And then here's some round ones. With just regular gleams. I'm not sure. 
Oh, where did those go? Like that. Oh. <laughs> and then here's I like these ones. These are round ones uh, with the full Y around it, and they they look like they're like surprised eyes or something. I'm not sure which direction they go. Probably like that. I thought they'd be cute, like a frog or something, you know, with the old eyes. And then these are oval ones with the round gleams. And then oval ones with heart gleams. She's just learning it, you know. She's just tweaking it. So eventually she'll up, she'll do her Etsy shop. She'll have tons of crochet related stickers. And she'll eventually have eyes. And she's also thinking about doing other things too. Because she does, she's really good at her cricket, you know. So she can make all kinds of things. Let me pair all these eyes back up. <laughs> um, so we'll, I'll definitely keep you guys in the loop on all of her updates for that. And we were talking about when she first opens her Etsy shop, um, we might do some kind of giveaway that's involving bags. So <laughs> we will uh, keep you updated on that as they come. So now I'm going to put these little eyes in this bag so I don't lose them. And uh, these eyes are perfectly great for um, amigurumis. You can sew them on or glue them on. I, I've glued them on the ones I made. But obviously you wouldn't want little kids with the amigurumis with the glued on eyes because if they do get them off... They could put them in the mouth, you know. But if it's older kids who know not to, you know, eat eyes off of stuffed animals. <laughs> um, or grown-ups, you know, who like to have dolls sent around. These would be perfect for that. But, uh, like I said, you could sew them on. Like, if you had a needle and thread, uh, you could sew them on if you wanted to. But I, I just like to make things easy on myself and I hot glued mine on the amigurumis that I made. Let's see here. One of them was a seahorse. Or, oh, it was two seahorses. It was two seahorses. Anyways, that's the happy one that I got uh recently <laughs> and like i said i do have some more dishcloths in the post office they're just sitting there and they're locked behind the counter until i can go get them <laughs> but um i will show those when they come and also got that i got a card a valentine's day card from summer it's just i when i got it with the other mail i looked at it you know and then i stuck it in the glove box and then i forgot to get it out of the glove box so i gotta get that out but anyways i'm gonna hop off here and i will see you guys in another video i you'll probably see me again with my slightly wet hair from showering and this shirt and all that because, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's quiet. <laughs> Devin just took the kids over to visit his dad for a little while. And I got to start some sewing. So I thought I'd record some videos while it's quiet. <laughs> and um, then get to sewing. And uh, yeah, so I'll be looking the same. Oh, kind of disheveled self. I haven't brushed my hair after I washed it. I always wait for it to dry all the way. Uh, so that it doesn't break my hair so bad. But uh, anyways, I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys in another video. <laughs> Bye guys.